I was lucky enough to be working at one of the best companies in the world, focused on being a practicing engineer and was designing one of the very first Pentium generation computer chips, which was just such a great opportunity. But if I wanted to sort of grow and manage and have more input on the larger roadmap of not just that chip project, but overall chip projects and, and eventually lead other engineers and other projects, I knew I needed to get a technical degree. So when I discovered that through the Stanford Center for Professional Development, uh, I could actually do these classes remotely and I could sort of, you know, construct my own pathway through the degree program, but still taking regular classes, the same ones that are taught on campus, and I'd be taking them with residential students and even working with those students in projects. I wasn't going to be sort of siloed off or whatever. It felt like a no-brainer. There were actually a bunch of other students remote as well, and so I was getting exposed to them as well as the on-campus students. And the mix of that was really powerful. So the highlight of my time doing my graduate program uh, work through Stanford Center for Professional Development was a class called Global Project Coordination. At that time it was actually AT&T uh, had a global logistics supply chain challenge that they wanted help with. It was really the first time that I'd experienced taking a project all the way from start to finish with a team that's distributed, not just one remote person and then everyone else in the same place. Literally in four or five different locations throughout uh, the entire quarter, working on something real. And we actually delivered a great solution that the company implemented. Taking that one class set me on a path over the last 20 years where I literally built my own venture capital firm so that I could fund resources and investment to these kinds of entrepreneurs remotely in the U.S. and increasingly around the world. I do teach a regular course here to uh, students, which by the way, as you would expect, my course includes equally residential students and remote students. Whether they're on campus or whether they're somewhere else, always have this component of how do we bridge different regions, different industries, different cultures, different you know, economic uh, systems even, um, so that people can learn from each other not only from the exchange of ideas, but more importantly, to create that network and that uh, almost culture of support so that they know they're not alone. And that's really what Silicon Valley has become and continues to become when I say it's a, it's a network and not just uh, a place. There's something special about Stanford that we haven't yet figured out how to make available anywhere else without first kind of getting a little exposure here. That's why I always do advocate that people, you know, ground their experience of learning and connection here, but then take that wherever they want to take it.